If you want to become a successful entrepreneur, it goes without saying that you need to be good at what you do. Hello and welcome back. This is Priya. In your Manifest Success series, we are on Chapter 3 on Section 2. Make the time to find your strength. Focus on perfecting a skill that will help you be the best in your industry. It becomes a very crucial decision point in every entrepreneur's journey. Successful entrepreneurs says many remarkable similarity, which includes resilience and drive for success. They are often con- conscious when it comes to managing their times, which quickly becomes their most important resource. They know the importance of optimizing their lifestyle. They do their most challenges, challenging work at the time of day that best suits them. They never give up and refuse to take no for answer. The list goes on. <laughs> but no matter how many similarities they may have, entrepreneurs are still very different from one another. Their approaches to achieving success and the tools they employ in doing to very, very great, greatly. Often their most noticeable difference lies in the core strength they process. On the other hand, their similarities immense from how well they have identified and improved their strength over time to compensate for what they lack in their other skills, talents and character traits. Consider the example of Bill Gates of Microsoft, Steve Jobs of Apple, both introduced radical innovation in the world of technology. We have had a far reaching impact on the lives of nearly everyone on the planet, yet they are all very different when it comes to their entrepreneurial strength. Gates was a highly uh, skilled software engineer. He wrote code for Microsoft product as early as 1989. On the other hand, Job was the unmatched design thinker. He attended calligraphy uh, classes and never wrote a single line of code for Apple. Those two entrepreneurs made lasting impact. They made product offering in the same industry during the same period with an entirely different set of strength and skill. Identifying and learning on their most useful strength and skill was common to both. It allowed them to achieve greatness. Meanwhile, entrepreneurs like Richmond Branson and uh, Mark Cuban types on interpersonal is- skill. They leveraged their people network to grow their business over time. Other like Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg got their start with well-trained technical skills, yet still other are given by mesmerizing creativity that enable them to inspire large number of people with their creations. Take the example of Leo Burnett and Walt Disney. In reality, there is an unlimited number of character traits that contribute to your success as an entrepreneur. It includes long, strong leadership ability, being a good negotiator and having a laser-like focus. Focus is very important. As Bruce Lee once said, the success warrior is the average man with laser-like focus. Obstacles and challenges allows us to feed into our personal strength. We often get stuck in the rigidity of circumstances. This may, this way, we lose sight of our lion-hearted voice and the sound of our inner voice. Yet, when we move away from our perceived limit and feel, we can transcend them. Nothing is overfixed or set in stone. The same tokens of nature, in impermanence, garner failure and dark times. Just as we transition from the cold night of winter to welcome the warm hues of spring. We are gifted to trace a new trajectory to evolve through tough time. The factor that decide your success in business depend on your ability to find your strength quickly and effectively. Then build these strengths into valuable asset for your cause. Focus relentlessly on going activities. Get into business ideas that engage your strength. How do you discover your strength? How can we use those strengths to pursue our, pa- our passion? 
let us take a look at some successful profiles try new things i would i discovered my strength by trying new things thinking about that i am passionate about considering what things i do that makes me feel in, in energized asking friend for their input and changing myself to keep stepping outside my comfort zone on using strength to find my passion i'm working on my passion and strength together and identifying my own strength is very important for my growth honestly my strength and my passions are mostly intertwined for instance i love writing i can can't not write i always say that if you were to leave me on a desert island and nothing i would find a stick and write my thought in that dirt i just can't help myself also love encouraging and cheerleading other people so one of the way i use my writing is to challenge and champion women to be the best version of themselves that they can be it's perfect mesh of both my strength and passion crystal pain founder of money saving mom the lesson want to discover your strength want to find your passion you have to be willing to try new things if comfort zone may be nice and cozy but if you never branch out you are never going to grow we are many hats honestly it took me a little while to understand what my strength was when i created a studio press i was wearing many hats so i had to run all facts and business through that experience i was able to determine the area enjoyed and errant areas that i think i was strengthened brand gardener founder of studio press and minimology i mean just finding your strength can be a number of game the more things you take um, on a shape the quicker you will discover the things you enjoy even better the areas where you excel just do it i discover my strength from the simple yet power quote you want to do be do and no i wanted to be you know podcaster so i just had a podcast as i uh, podcast my way of the new 1000 episode of uh, eo fire i uncovered a strength i didn't even know pa- passed it all a strength from doing john lee doman see the point i'm trying to say the lessons you learn from these people all you need to know dig deep into their thoughts and then pursue them the stories of undergoing that win against the odds nourishing your heart with hope there are people that no one believes in the one who were betrayed and were uh, bruised yet never gave in an nasser or dark intention and stop teach us that the comeback is far more remarkable than the setback and that's what hits us can also bleeds us the electric artillery and muscle instilling that allow you to go to the distance to push the anything external cannot content with the weight of what lies within its own design of persistence persistence endurance which conjures the shape of the underdog the dark horse or the total log chart like a pan of under a break glass the wishless life is biggest knock utilizing every bit against them as a chance of reinforce there is still like well we can learn so much from the beauty of the underdog but most of all we can learn to trust otherwise to come back stronger no matter what our inner strength and get formulated based on our background influence our next podcast deal with the you this your background influence on you so wait and watch and if you haven't subscribed and like my podcast yet i would recommend please do and if you haven't been listening my previous podcast i will highly recommend to go back and listen so that you can understand the context where we are heading thank you so so much for watching and listening for my podcast